No, but uh, oh, you're doing yeah. you're doing good though. Okay, I'm trying. I'm trying, but I have to many things to brush up. But uh, at least I'm trying. I'm, well, I'm trying. Okay. Yes. Yeah. No, you did very well in the in the section with the SHs with what we worked on the other day. Your SHs sounded really good. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. And now um, I have to keep on trying. Uh -huh. And then I will start uh, with my R sounds as well. Yeah, yeah, one thing at a time, little by yeah. little, little by little, you'll you'll uh, keep getting better. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. The problem is that now with my schedule, I have no much time to join your classes. Sure. But you are very early in the Spanish uh, mornings because it's at uh -huh. four o'clock in the morning, or yeah. it's uh, in the uh, afternoon evenings when I'm working. So, uh, uh, you're, doing, you're doing good though. Okay. Okay, I will just uh, keep on. But anyway, I will just let you know next week when you. I will ask when you are available. Available. Okay. So that we don't have another class. Okay. Sure. No problem. Whatever. Whatever you like. All right. Okay. Well. Um. Welcome. Uh, welcome to uh, to those of you out in uh, listening land. Uh, this is a TOEFL preparation class. Uh, we are going to be uh, practicing uh, answering questions. All right, and it will be doing this based on the uh, TOEFL method. Okay, uh, you'll you'll get a chance to read the question. You'll then have 15 seconds wow. to prepare, right, prepare. and 45 yeah. seconds to uh, to answer the question afterwards. Yeah. Right. So uh, that's what we we are going to be practicing. The uh, questions that we're going to look at are in the uh, class materials section. So uh, go ahead and open that up if you'd like. And I'm going to get my clock or my timer ready. And uh, hi there, Hamid. How are you? Hi, teacher Shad. Fine. And you? I'm doing, I'm doing well. great. I'm doing great. Awesome. Good to see <laughs> you. Uh, okay. We also too. have uh, uh, Boss. Hi, Boss. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Nice I'm to doing meet great. you. Nice to see you as well. How how were how were the uh, holiday celebrations for you? Very well. Uh, it was fantastic for me. That's super. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome welcome back. Good to have you here. All right, you guys. Uh, let's Thank go you. ahead and uh, no problem. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, Hamid, let's uh, start off with you. <clears throat> Let me go to yeah. question. I think uh, number three. Do you agree or disagree that? Let's see. Which uh, which page are you on? Uh, I'm on page. Which page? Uh, is it possible? I think. Page. I okay. Don't know. Page uh, does not count. Is it uh, is it positive? Positive. Yeah, it's uh, positive. Positive. Okay. Is it positive? Sorry. And we're on third. Okay. So unique effects on society. So maybe. Uh, 13, right? So do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Is that right? Do you agree or disagree that progress is always good? Uh, let's see. That no, 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 progress up, up. is always good. Um, no, I think we moved. we moved past that. But we can we can start from there. We don't have uh, we basically have all new people in class right now, so it doesn't really matter where we start. Give me one second. Okay. So. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So I found it. So is it positive? Okay. So uh, number three. So you guys, we are on uh, the bottom of page four. Okay, the bottom of page four where it says uh, change and technology. Okay, um, is it positive? Okay, and question number three. Right, okay, so uh, starting off with uh, Hamid. Hamid, go ahead and read number three. Do you agree or disagree that progress is always good? Use a specific reason just and example to support your answer. Okay. So it's 15, uh, an 15. opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Opinion. I forgot we were doing that. Okay. So it, yeah, it is. It is question. opinion. 
But yeah. what do you see at the very beginning of that of this question? I agree. Good. I disagree. I agree. Good. Now, which word are that. we going to place? That. that. Yes, that's what you want to say. Okay, so yeah. uh, tell me, what what would your introduction be? My introduction. Uh, I agree that Brooks is always good. That's it. That's, that's it. Right. That's all you need. Yeah. That's, that's all you it. need. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Or if you disagreed, I disagree that progress is always good. Okay. So one at one or the other. So we're gonna do agree. Okay. So now watch your transitions. Okay. Come up with a couple of uh, of supporting statements and then move into your conclusion. So you have 15 seconds. Okay. No, I think I don't have it. All right. Here we go. 15 seconds. All right, ready? All right, I hope that. Go. I agree that progress is always good for people. For example, for example, uh, automobile and cars and uh, and the internet and computer before, before in the past. The people have way to, for example, uh, for the car, the people have way to transportation as well as the transportation as never on, a, on the same time for all the, the people. And nowadays, the cars are more comfortable and save, it save our time. We, you, you can go with your own car. Uh, the computer, uh, in the past, you can... In, in, the computer in the bus, you can go to the coffee shop and uh, have a seat, uh, reserve a seat for the for the computer. Nowadays, you have your own computer. You can do anything in any time for your computer. That that's the reason why I chose this to me or something right now. Okay, I know right. I, I I mix I mix all things. It's it's okay. It's okay. So, um, yeah. all right. So when what I would have done if I were you, okay, is after you knew what you were going to say in your in your uh, intro, okay, I would have written down the word cars, okay, and I would have written down the word computers, computers. okay. Now, um, so and I wouldn't have written down anything else. Now, you don't have to list them. So you say, I, I agree that um, progress is always good for two reasons. My first reason is based on vehicles. We can see that vehicles have become a great help for us in moving from one place to another. Before, we could only take the train. Okay, or a bus, okay, or we had to walk. Now we can purchase cars for ourselves, all right, and travel from one place to another. My next reason is based on computers. Computers have been a great help throughout the world. For example, I am currently taking English classes online. Before, I would have had to go to a school and be there physically, but now I can take, take this from the comfort of my own home. Okay, then you would go into and you would say, so those are the reasons why I believe progress is always good. Okay, so when you're when you're explaining your your answers, make sure that everything is pointing back to why you agree. Okay, and 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 we're we're uh, we're moving through this nicely. Okay, so um, we're you've got the the intro down. Okay. All right. Now we're going to start working on your supporting sen sentences so that they yeah. make sense and they're and they are they're pointing back to what you agree with. Okay? After that, we'll work on the conclusion. All right? And then we'll just keep working on them. We'll work on different questions. All right? But you're doing better. You've you've had improvement. Okay? So keep your head up. You're doing good. All right? Okay. 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 So, uh, good. Let's go to uh, Omar Omar from Egypt, who decided to change his picture to confuse me. <laughs> How you doing, Omar? Welcome back. I'm doing great, teacher. Thank you. Nice to Very see you again. Good. Good to see you as well. How's how's your job going? 
it's 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 great. I can say it's great. It's it's great considering, I would imagine, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're doing uh, TOEFL answers. Have you uh, have you answered TOEFL questions before? Maybe once, I think, or twice. Okay. So yeah, we we have a a certain uh, a certain format that we use. Okay, an introduction, supporting statements, and a conclusion. Okay. okay. So let's uh, let's have you uh, read through number four, and you'll have fifteen seconds to prepare after that. Go ahead. Okay. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? With the help of technology, students nowadays can learn more information and learn it more quickly. Use specific reasons and examples to support your answer. Okay. All right, you have 15 seconds. I'm also going to place that question in the Google chat box so you can always see it there, okay? So 15 okay. seconds. Okay, you ready? Yes, of course. Okay. Go. Of course, uh, I agree with uh, this statement, of course, because uh, the Internet has uh, an impact nowadays in our lives. And for students, it's more, uh, it's more effective. It affects their lives. For example, uh, you can learn English online, as we do nowadays. So, instead of going to school or take a private course, you can learn English online or any new language that you would like to learn. And it's, of course, it's more efficient and uh, make them comfortable. And I think it's a, a great invention that helps people a lot. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice work. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about this, okay? So with your with your introduction, okay, that's where we're going to start off at. Okay, what you want to do is take your intro right from uh, right from your question. Okay, question being, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Okay, now when I look at this, I'm going to automatically think, okay, I agree or I disagree. Then I add the word that. Okay, so with either one, when you see I uh, do, you, when you see agree or disagree, that's automatically going to be your intro. I agree. Now we do not want to say with the following statement. We do want to say, I agree that, okay, uh, technology, okay, helps students nowadays learn more information and learn it quickly. Okay, or I agree that with the help of technology so I can I can basically read that whole thing okay and that would be just fine that is you're going to be that is going to be your introduction okay nice nice and simple okay um, and I believe uh, you said I agree with this statement of course okay you want to be a little bit more obvious than that okay so for example if you were in the university all right, and uh, and your your teacher asks this question. Your teacher wants you to, or your professor wants you to write a five-page essay, okay, about uh, how technology is helping students. All right, and and you started off your essay and you said, uh, I agree with this statement, of course. Okay, he would probably give it back to you and say, No, that's not how we write an introduction. Okay, so even though the teacher knows what you're talking about, even though the the, the judge or the person, okay, and this works with uh, with interviews as well, you guys. So even though that they they know the question you're asking, okay, you want to sort of repeat it, not exactly repeat the whole thing, but here you're answering the question, then you're going to give your supporting statements. So I agree that with the help of technology, blah de blah. Okay, and finish that up. That's how you want to, to uh, state your introduction. So you taking taking words straight from that question. Okay. Now after that, um, you uh, you started talking about the computer, and that was really good. Okay. Um, I would come up with probably one more to use in your in, as a support. 
Okay. Now, with your your conclusion, okay, um, you want to be very obvious that you're ending your answer. Okay. Instead of saying um, that's what that's why I think this is good, um, or um, uh, I you know I agree with this. Okay. Or uh, done. Okay. Uh, you want to say uh, these are the reasons why I believe technology helps students learn more information uh, quicker and uh, or sorry m learn more information quicker okay or in conclusion these are the reasons why I believe blah de blah okay or something like that does that make sense Omar yes of, yes, of course teacher yes. okay so when, when you're doing that you want to have a very structured answer okay so next time around we're gonna work on the introduction um, and and fine-tuning your your uh, your reasons there in the middle okay okay all right very good uh, one thing uh, I do want to point out is your pronunciation is really good okay so I there weren't any words that you were saying that I was tripped up on or anything like that I could understand everything you were saying okay nice job okay thank you okay uh, let's go to number five uh, this is for boss Okay, boss, uh, let's take a look here. Number five, go ahead and read this out loud. Uh, what discovery in the last 100 years has been most beneficial for people in your country? Use specific reasons and examples to support your choice. Okay. All right, now, Paz, have you answered TOEFL questions before? Uh, yes, but uh, only once or twice. Okay, so let's uh, let's prepare an introduction here. Okay, so let's prepare mm -hmm. an introduction. Then I'll, I'll let you think about your supporting statements. All right. So mm -hmm. uh, our introduction. Um, Okay, so this is is this a uh, a uh, an opinion uh, question? Is this a uh, agree or disagree question? Is this a compare and contrast or a, a advantage and disadvantage? What kind of question is this? It's a question of opinion. A question I of opinion. Think. Yeah, you're right. So, what kind of what 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 kind of words can we use at the beginning of our our statement uh, to answer an opinion question? How can you start that out? In my opinion. There you for go. Example. Uh huh. In my opinion, I believe that. Uh, I think mm -hmm. that. Okay. I feel mm -hmm. that. Okay. So any of those would work. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, now, uh, which uh, which item? Which item has been uh, has been the most beneficial for your country? Mm, I um, I don't know now, but I I was thinking in hospitals, for example. Okay, hospitals. That's fine. Okay, that that works great. Remember, this is your opinion. There's no right or wrong answer. Okay, mm -hmm. but the only thing you need to do is back up or support that answer with details. So your your introduction, for example, would be, in my opinion, okay, mm -hmm. hospitals have been the mm -hmm. most uh, the most beneficial for my country uh, in the past 100 years, okay, or in the last 100 years. All right. So mm -hmm. in my opinion, hospitals have been the most beneficial for my country in the last 100 years. Okay, then you're going to go into your supporting statements. Okay, so I'm going to give you 15 seconds. Okay, and yes. uh, jot down some ideas of why you believe hospitals are are the most important. Okay, go ahead. 15 seconds. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. Okay. Go. Uh, in my opinion, hospitals have been the most important uh, these uh, things 
in the last uh, 100 years uh, because nowadays uh, the people uh, is is more healthy uh, than than before. Uh, several years ago, uh, the people uh, is is bad in in your houses, but nowadays the hospitals are very good for for us and for the people uh, that live in 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 better countries okay all right let's let's pause there okay oh, so it's horrible <laughs> no you did fine you did fine um it, it is really difficult <laughs> it is really difficult um uh, uh last night <laughs> in, a, in another class uh, I, I do uh, uh, private sessions with uh, Japanese business professionals, and I, uh, I'm uh, trying to help them become better on their TOEIC test, right? And uh, TOEIC has a, a similar speaking test, and he speaks very well. He speaks really well, okay, in fact. Okay, and uh, and we go into into the class, and I said, okay, well, this is this is the speaking portion. We're going to work on this, right? And he fell flat on his face. Why? Because this is a challenge. Okay, you have to get used to answering questions in this format. It's not very easy. Once you learn the format, okay, it becomes easier. So, so don't don't worry. Okay, everything is a challenge when you're trying it for the first time. Okay, all right. So let's uh, let's take a look here. Um, now, on your your introduction, you were you were very close. You could have used the word discovery. Okay, uh, I heard you say dis, and then you said uh, things. Okay, discoveries would have been just fine. So, in my opinion, hospitals uh, are uh, uh, hospitals are the most beneficial discovery. Okay, uh, that my country has had in the past 100 years, and that would have been just fine. Now, um, uh, your your reasons. Okay, you want to you want to get through your reasons quicker. If your first one is that we are living. Uh, uh, more healthy, okay, or we're living healthier. Sorry, mm -hmm. um, then um, list that. Okay, my first reason is uh, our our health has improved, and this is due to the doctors in in, in the hospitals. Okay, they have they have uh, mm -hmm. uh, taught us how to live better uh, when before they did not do as much, or we didn't know as much information. Okay. Number two, so that's all you want to say. Okay, it's very short. Okay, there there isn't a need to tell a full story about it. Okay, so very short and concise answers. Right. The next one, whatever your second point was, go into that, and you have ten to fifteen seconds to explain that. Okay, I know that seems fast, right? Uh, but if you stay on point and you stay focused, you will be able to get that. Okay. Now. Um, uh, grammar wise uh, one phrase that you said is the people is more healthy than before okay when the the verb is we need to change to are okay uh, the people are more healthy than before yes yes it's true okay all right the people are Okay, so uh, remember that about uh, about people, and keep up the good work. You're doing fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice job, okay. boss. Let's go to Raquel. Yes. All right, Raquel. Let's take a look at number six. Okay. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Technology has made the world a better place to live. Use specific reasons and examples to support your opinion. Okay. All right. Okay. So, fifteen seconds to prepare. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. Go. Okay, I do totally agree with that uh, statement. 
and I do agree because of several reasons. First of all, means of transport. Trans to airplane or train, we can move much uh, faster and uh, people from Australia are much closer to people from Spain than they, they were in the past. Second, my second reason is that our health conditions conditions have uh, improved thanks to the new technological, advance, uh, ad technological advances in hospital. The hospitals are now much better equipped, equipped. So for these reasons and for some other reasons, I want uh, to emphasize uh, the idea that technology is good for us. Okay. Um, All right. So. Nice job. Let's take a look at that conclusion, though. Yes. Okay, you were a little long on the conclusion. You could have ended in time. So you said so for these reasons and for many others. I yeah. wanted to emphasize. Okay, so that there's too many words there. Okay, mm -hmm. all you need to say is for these reasons I I believe, and then you go into yeah. it and you end it. Yeah. Okay, you could have been done in about three seconds. Yeah, but it's because I have another idea and I couldn't say that, so I got confused, but you're totally right. Okay, and that's, and that's fine. If you only give two, if you mentioned at the beginning that you had several reasons, but you were mm -hmm. only able to get two, okay, mm -hmm. that's okay. okay. Okay, forget about it. It's done. You've already said it and you can't go back and fix it, right? Okay. So, uh, in your conclusion, just rely on the two that you gave. So, these are the reasons why I, okay, and that would be just fine. Okay. okay, you might you might lose a, a point or, or so, but th that's okay. It's it's better than going over and adding too much and things like that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now uh, the rest of your structure was really good. Okay, introduction, your supporting statements. Okay, sounded really nice. I want to go over two pronunciations here. Um, okay. You uh, you attempted to correct yourself on the word conditions. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, shins at the end sounded really good when you corrected yourself. But the I right after the D, okay, condi, okay, you had used a long E saying conditions. Okay, so let's try that again. Short I, conditions. Conditions. There you go. Now remember, instead of shions, shins, conditions. Conditions. Good. Okay. Now uh, the other the other word here is technological. 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 Okay. One more time. Technological. Technological. Good, good. That's it. Okay. Now, uh, your grammar was really good. I didn't hear anything that was uh, that was off. Okay, or needed mm -hmm. any any work. Okay. Just remember mm -hmm. what we talked about on, in the conclusion and in uh, pronunciation. Keep focusing on pronunciation. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Nurel, how are you? Sure. How are you? I'm fine. I'm doing great. You're back to your your uh, your uh, mm -hmm. uh, wonderful pictures and your in your name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. All right. Okay. Um, now we uh, we kind of moved down here uh, below. We didn't have any uh, uh, people that were in class from yesterday, and so we just started uh, in another place. Uh, so um, let's see. I don't know. Have you done this one before? Some people believe that Earth is uh, being harmed. Um, yes, I guess so. But uh, I think it doesn't. Um, it doesn't matter for me. It doesn't bother me if I repeat it. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, if is that okay with you? But uh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's try a different one because I think you've done number seven. I I know you've done number eight about telephones. I know that. Yes. Let's let's try yes. number let's try number nine. Oh yes. Okay. I never done this before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and read that out loud. Oh, people have different ways of escaping the stress and difficulties of mother life. Some read, some exercise, other work in their garden. What do you think are the best ways of reducing stress? Okay. Fifteen seconds. Okay.
Okay. Ready? Yes. Mm. Go. Well, uh, one thing I do to release my stress or to overcome my stress <laughs> is listening to music. Why is this? Uh, first of all, because music relaxes me. Uh, whenever I listen to music, for example, Mozart music, I, le I, I feel my body relax and my soul uh, relaxing. And um, secondly, music helps me to bond with others. And this also uh, helps me to relax. For example, uh, whenever I go to the cancer music and be with the, my friends and relatives, I feel really relaxed. So I think music is my um, tool to relax, uh, to overcome stress. I don't no, know why I'll... Yeah, to relax. To relax would have been just fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you could say to relax. Um, um, uh, yeah, our question here was regarding stress. Yeah, but it would have been okay. Okay, to relax or to reduce stress. Okay, good. All right, nice job. Really good answer there. Okay, um, nice. Uh, you had your introduction, your supporting statements, and and your conclusion. Okay, um, now your let's see. Uh, okay, there was uh, one pronunciation, uh, actually two that I wanted to work on. So first up is the word go. Instead of gao, gao, start going to an a ah, and then an u, au, it's go. go. So instead of au, it's go. Yeah, whenever I go. Oh, okay. Whenever go. I go. Go. Whenever uh -huh. I go. Oh. Yeah. Whenever I go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one. Uh, did you say that you listen to Mozart? Yes, Mozart. Okay. Mozart so, music. so instead of saying, uh, okay, so you can say Mozart, Mozart's music. If you do say that, you're adding that possessive s. Mozart, Mozart's music. Okay, but I did not hear that extra S. So it sounded like you said Mozart music. Okay, mm -hmm. if so, then you you would need to say um, um, music by Mozart. Mm -hmm. Okay, whenever yeah. I listen to music by Mozart or music from Mozart. Mm -hmm. Okay, if not, you would need to say whenever I listen to Mozart's music. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so try that. Try adding that possessive S on there. Whenever oh, okay. I listen to Mozart's music. Whenever I listen to Mozart's music. There you go. Okay, and that would give possession of that music to him, and then you listen to that. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, all right, now. Um, okay, so... This was, this was a, a phrase that you used. You said, I feel my body and my soul relaxing. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. I f in the way that we would say that. Okay, I f we would say I feel like. Like. I okay. Like. Or, uh, I f yes, I feel like my body and my soul are relaxing. Maybe uh, are relaxing, teacher, or are relaxed. Um, I... you would have to say are more relaxed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. You, but yeah, you can say are relaxing. Oh, okay, and that would be fine as well. Okay, um, now here, the reason why is because when you say "I feel my body and my soul relax, uh, relaxing," okay, and it, it's almost like you're touching you're touching yourself. That's what that means. I feel my body and my soul relaxing. Okay, oh. so okay. when you feel, okay, you either feel a feeling. Okay, or you, yeah, like oh, I feel tired. I feel I feel happy. You feel a feeling, or you physically feel yourself. You feel your the touch. Okay, so when you say I feel my body, okay, that means that you're touching your body. Okay, oh. which I know that's not what you meant, right? But that's yeah. why we would say I feel like. Oh, I feel okay, like. now I'm going to that, that feeling of relaxing, right? I feel yeah. like my body is, my body and my soul are relaxing. I feel like my body and my soul are relaxing. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, so, for example, if, uh, if uh, something is driving you crazy at work, okay, uh -huh. and someone says, hey, 
how are you doing, Nudel? He's like, I don't know. I feel like a crazy person. Uh huh. Okay. You would not say, I feel a crazy person. Yes. Like okay, because that would mean know. there's a crazy person in the room and you're putting your hands on their body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are trying to express a uh, um, uh, something that you are feeling inside, okay, like that, we would usually say, I feel like my body, okay? Because you can't, and it's a feeling of a noun, okay? So a crazy person, I feel like a crazy person, okay? If you take out like, that means you're physically touching them. If you put like in there, you're now expressing that you have a feeling that you are like a crazy person. Uh -huh. Okay, that's why I feel like my body and my soul are relaxing. Would make sense. Okay? Yes. All right, very good. Okay, nice job. Nice job. Thank, no you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Uh-huh. Good. Let's go to uh, let's go to Hamid. All right, Hamid, let's uh, see. We're on number 10. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and read that, please. Uh, actually, let's just go there. I think I... I think I... Have you, have you done that one already, Hamid? Done this. Oh, okay. Or... 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 Yeah, yeah, we've gone we've gone through these. I can I can scroll down here. Did Hamid come back? There we go. Hamid, are you there? Okay, uh, let me come back to him. Okay, so uh excuse me. Wow. Uh Omar Okay, you guys. So we're on we're on page number six. I scrolled down just a bit because we're we're uh, we've done done a lot of those questions already. Uh, so on old or modern. Okay. Hello. So, yeah, Hamid, are you back? Yeah. It's a, Hello, Hamid. Okay, let's go to Omar. Omar, uh, eighteen. Uh, go ahead and and read that out loud, please. Okay. Would you prefer to live in a traditional house or in a modern apartment building? Use specific reasons and details to support your answer. Your choice, sorry. Okay. All right. So uh, let's talk about the introduction. Now, what kind of a question is this? Is this is an opinion, uh, agree or disagree, compare and contrast, or um, advantage, disadvantage? I think uh, comparing. Okay, it is it is going to be comparing, but you are going to be stating your what? Your agreement, your if I agree or disagree. Okay, more than that, it's going to be what you prefer, which would be your opinion. Oh, in my opinion, yes. Okay, so you don't want to compare the two. You're going to state what your your opinion is, which would be I prefer. Okay, so okay, um, you can say in my opinion. Uh, I would rather live in a, an apartment building or okay I prefer to live in an apartment building or I prefer to live in a, a traditional house mm -hmm. okay so whichever one it is I would start off with prefer I prefer mm -hmm. to live in a traditional house or I prefer to live in an apartment building okay, okay? Can I, say I prefer uh, living in a traditional house yep that would be just fine okay Okay, I prefer living in a traditional house. Okay, and then you're going to go into your reasons. Okay, so your transition from there. So that's all you need for the introduction. Very short. Okay, okay. And then you could say, um, uh, so I I prefer living in a traditional house, for for two reasons. Okay. And then list your reasons. The first one is uh, mm -hmm. I get to have a dog, in the traditional house, and I can't do that in an apartment. Okay. okay. The other reason is you know okay whatever it may be. Okay, okay, so let's let's try this. So fifteen seconds. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Okay, ready? Okay. Go. Okay. Okay. I prefer to live in a traditional house. And uh, my reasons are because first, uh, a traditional house, is, it's uh, away from people. It's not in a crowded place. It's quiet and you can watch the view of the sun, of course, and the nature around you. And I think it will make anybody to feel comfortable and uh, relaxed. And also you can have a, a pet or an animal, like a horse, for example, that you care of and take care of, sorry, that you can take care of. Conclude. And, okay. Oh, I forgot. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. No worries, man. No worries. All right. So, it's yeah, it's a little, little uh, uh, nerve-wracking there at the end. Okay. So, uh, conclusion-wise... All right, so what you want to say is uh, something like, those are the reasons why I, I prefer, like to, yes, I prefer okay. to, to live in or, a traditional house. Yeah, or uh, so in conclusion, okay, this is why I prefer to live in a traditional house. Okay, okay anything like that would be just fine. Okay, now um, uh, here. Uh, you did very well with your introduction, and uh, now leading into your leading into your your reasons. Okay, you said, and my reasons are the first one. Okay, um, okay. all you would need to say here is for two reasons, or for a couple of reasons, or okay. for a few reasons. Yeah. Okay, so uh, instead of say stating my reasons are. Start off with the, that preposition there. So for a few reasons, okay. 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 Um, and then my first one is okay. Now uh, let's take a look at some grammar here. Okay. okay. Uh, now when we are um, uh, instead of watch the view of the sun, we look. Okay. Okay. We look at the uh, look at the uh, the sun. Okay. Okay. okay? Um, or you can watch the sun go down. Okay, because that takes a long time. Okay, we would then say watch, but if not, then we, we look at the view. Okay, uh, the other one here, um, I would, uh, I'm sorry, it would make anybody feel feel comfortable uh, and relaxed. So, uh, anybody. Okay, it would make, instead of saying anybody, we, remember, we use any when it's in the negative. Okay, it okay. wouldn't make anybody feel comfortable. That's when we would say that. It would not. Okay, but here we would want to say it would make somebody. Okay, or someone. It would make us all. Or it would make uh, anyone. Okay, anyone we could use in this situation. Okay, it would make anyone feel comfortable and relaxed. Anybody, okay, negative. Anyone, okay, is in the positive. Okay. okay. And okay. then a uh, uh, nice fix. Uh, you caught yourself on one of them. I, I forgot to write it down, but you caught yourself, and it was good. Okay? Uh, all right. So, yeah, just remember that conclusion, right? Okay. okay. Very good. Uh, let's go to Raquel. Okay, Raquel, number 19, please. Uh, sorry, Chad, I had a question. Because sure, I what's your question? Yes, you, tell, you said that anybody has a negative meaning and anyone has a positive meaning. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, in in most cases, so uh, I can say I don't want anyone at my party. Okay, I, it's best said I don't want anybody, anybody at my party. Okay, mm -hmm. and usually with any, any usually has a negative meaning. Yes. Okay? Now, uh, I can say, does anyone want? Does anybody? Or sorry, does anyone want a, a new cookie or an, not a new cookie? Another cookie. Okay? okay, and that would that would be fine. In this situation, anybody would refer to negative. I, I couldn't say anybody here. It would make anybody feel that that would be wrong. Okay, because anybody would have to be used in the negative. It wouldn't make anybody feel comfortable. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, if I wanted to use any, I would have to say anyone. It would make anyone feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So that, that's how I would use that. It doesn't work in every situation, okay? In some situations, it does. Okay, just to clarify that, okay? 
right. Okay, let's take a look at number 19. Okay. Uh, in the future, students may have the choice of studying at home by using technology, uh, such as computers or television, or of studying at traditional schools. Which would you prefer? Use resources and specific details to explain your choice. Okay. Oh. okay. Chad, one more question. Yes. Sure. Here, I have to choose one or the other, or I can say pros of both and just say at the end that I would take uh, something in between. Um, okay, now if you do that, just mm -hmm. be aware of your time. Okay, okay. okay. You, you okay. can do that. You can say, uh, in all reality, I would prefer a mixture of, let's say, um, studying at home with the computer and going to school. Okay. All right, and, but you're going to have to explain that. Okay, now what I would do is probably take one to explain why you would like one and one to explain why you would like the other. Okay, and then mm -hmm. and then explain kind of the relationship at the very end of each of those. So the relationship that connects them, those two. Okay, and then okay. and then go into, go into your conclusion. So it can be done, just be careful with your time. Okay? Okay. All right, so yeah, let's try it out. Okay, so 15 seconds. Okay. Here we go. Okay, ready? Okay. Go. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, to be honest, in my opinion, I think that the ideal situation would be a mixture of both concepts. And I say that because uh, in traditional schools, at least in Spain, have shown to be a failure because uh, we have been le uh, taught how to learn things by heart, but uh, not uh, to put things into practice. However, they are good because we have uh, been capable of establishing perfect and good re relationships. On the other hand, uh, working, uh, studying at home with your computer is good because you can learn how uh, more things at your own pay, pace, at your own pace, but you can become isolated and we will all live in a community. So, in conclusion, yes. Okay, so what would, what would, be, what would be your conclusion there? So finally, what I would suggest is to work, uh, to study uh, in schools with computers and that you could take at home to complete your uh, lessons. Okay. All right. So um, now, in order to say all that, <clears throat> you yeah. have to, your first re reason would have to be very, very short. I know. Okay. So that's, that's why, uh, it's the reason why I was a little reluctant. Because mm -hmm. it, it's hard to include both of those and fully explain why. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, uh, okay. So you could say um, uh, my the first reason is uh, regarding traditional schools. Okay. Traditional schooling here in in Spain is uh, is I don't know. Uh, it's it's tough. Um, yeah, it's a tough one to include all of that within 45 yeah. seconds. Yes. Okay. Um, what you could do is um, is say uh, my solu uh, is is to have a mixture between both of them. My solution would be to have a computer that you could take to school and study, and then uh, take home with you to then study mm -hmm. on online. Okay. The mm -hmm. reason. Okay, and then you can give a, a completely alternate reason. Ah, uh, okay. All right, and then go through and and give reasons why that would be positive. Okay. All right, okay. and not do a comparison to to the others, but you're going to explain why this would be better than the others. Okay? okay, and then move into your conclusion. That that might work. Now, um, uh, whether or not they they would uh, dock you any points because you're not specifically answering that question. Okay, oh. would be would be up to them. Okay, um, but that's that's just if you are you are looking to take take the TOEFL exam that way. Okay. 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 Thank you. All right. Thank you. No problem. Uh, okay, let's go to Nurel. 
All right, Nurel, our next one here, number number 20. Um, have you done buy enough books or, or yeah. have you done? Okay, you've done yeah. that one. I thought so. Um, okay, so some people enjoy. Okay, let's try this one here. Okay, some people enjoy change and they look forward to new experiences. Others like their lives to stay the same and they do not change their usual habitats, habits. Compare these two approach to life, which approach do you prefer? Okay. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay, ready? Yes. Um, maybe staying in the same place might be boring and you may get bored. And uh, trying a new experiences may be great for you because you will uh, get to challenge and learn new things. In my case, I prefer new experiences because I like a challenge. Uh, for example, last summer I went to Morocco and we climbed a mountain and it was very hard because it was a windy day and there wasn't rain enough clouds. But I didn't see anyway. So uh, I think uh, experiencing new things uh, is uh, better than uh, just staying home and getting bored. Okay. All right. Give me one second here. Okay. All right. So um, now, uh, at the at the very beginning, on your intro there, okay, uh, I wouldn't start off the the sentence by saying maybe. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. you could say um, it's it's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, it's possible to do this, that, or the other. It's possible that. Okay, and that would be fine. Okay, then leading into your your. Uh, your uh, um, your preference, okay. I, I thought that was a, that was a, a, a good and interesting way to uh, to answer that question, okay. Now a, at the very end, okay, this is when I noticed just uh, some grammar things and then a pronunciation um, uh, mistake. So let's practice the word things. Make sure to pronounce a th instead of tings. It's things. 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 Okay. Good. Now, um, one of the phrases that you said, okay, was um, uh, this is why I believe it, it's experiencing experiencing a new thing is better than staying at home uh, or staying home and getting bored. Okay. So let me put this in here. Okay. Uh, so experiencing a new thing is better than staying home and getting bored. Okay. Now, experiencing new things. Okay, so we would take out A and say new things. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, this is why I believe experiencing new things is better than staying home, okay, and getting bored. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and getting bored, yeah, that'd be fine. Staying home and and uh, probably being uh, being bored. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would probably say in being, hold on one second, so, uh, experiencing new things is better than staying home and being bored. Yeah, it would be being bored. Okay, instead of getting bored, being bored there. Okay? But yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty good. That was the only, uh, the only grammar uh, uh, mess up that I heard there. So instead of uh, ex experiencing a new thing, experiencing new things. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then yeah. yeah, your pronunciation was really good as well, except for on that word things. Okay. Things. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay, you guys. You. Well, we are we are uh, just about out of time. Thank you for uh, for coming to class this hour. It was great having you here. Okay. Uh,
Um, uh, I'm going to take a break for about an hour, and I'll be back with uh, beginning and intermediate reading pronunciation. Uh, we'll be uh, practicing the TH sounds, both the voiced and unvoiced sounds, in the second hour, and then uh, um, answering questions about happiness. Okay, and that'll be my last hour for the day. Okay, all right, you guys. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you. Okay, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.